What's up, guys? <laughs> now we are making an intake for the 48 Chevy. So we got a little elbow action. <laughs> we got it kind of mocked in place. It's a little bit of a funky angle because it's got a 45 and we don't know where it's going to go, but we marked it. We're going to cut the hole out and we'll see what happens. Ready, Sorquiz? That's how we do it around here. So, I just need a little bit of tape. That's how we do it around here. Guys, here's another little tip. So when you're holding the exhaust tubing up there, you can't use all your hands to tack it. You grab a Sharpie mark and you, you mark the tube, make a line on it. And that way, when you take it down to the table, you line up the marks and you tack it a little more comfortably. Today we're working on Chef's crazy exhaust. Uh, 47 Chevrolet pickup truck, patina, but he wants kind of like that, like European sports car kind of feel. So we found some tips on Amazon of all places, but they have a carbon fiber surround that rivets onto them that we don't have on yet. But um, so we did the four tips and only two are gonna be functional at a time. So we did the no weeds exhaust diverters, which unlike a cutout is a true diverter. It has two butterflies that actually spin. So it will actually block this one off and send it only through this, or vice versa, block this and only send it through this, depending on where you put the, push the button. So in one scenario, we're running it through a Borla muffler. So we come from the engine up here, into the muffler, around the muffler, through the X-pipe, and then we come out through the middle one. And then the other scenario we go, when the no weeds is turned, then it just goes into here and then straight through and bypasses the muffler. So um, no muffler, 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 no muffler. But a lot of uh, bends and a lot of TIG welding. We wanna get this in there one more time, get the tips on it, and then we'll figure out our reveal and finish it off. Should sound pretty cool and it looks really cool. This is kind of one of the last things we have to get done for the truck. I know we got to finish the intake real quick, but that's just a matter of putting an air straightener in it, mount, air straightener in it and mounting the filter. But it's pretty much, it's almost there. Um, it'll be coming apart here soon to get powder coat. And then we'll finish welding up the firewall and transmission tunnel. Then it'll go over to Frank's to get bodywork and painted. We're only going to paint under the hood 
and in the inside. So the outside of the truck's gonna stay patinaed the way it is. It's kind of why we're calling it the bad apple. It's kind of uh, multiple meanings. He lives in New York, so the big apple and then the things looks bad. Bad meaning bad, not bad meaning good. So anyway, we'll get this back in place.